He is known for being a French poet, journalist, and novelist with several bestsellers. Recognized as the ideal French man of letters, he was ironic and skeptical in his writing. He was a member of the Académie Française and won the 1921 Nobel Prize in Literature. His name is Anatole France. In the realm of French literature, one name stands out, Anatole France, a poet, journalist, and novelist whose works captivated readers around the world. Known for his ironic and skeptical tone, France was hailed as the epitome of a French man of letters during his time. His literary prowess was so remarkable that he became a member of the prestigious Académie Française, the highest honor for a French writer. In 1921, France's brilliance was recognized on a global scale when he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. The committee acknowledged his outstanding literary achievements, praising his writing for its noble style, profound human empathy, grace, and true Gallic temperament. This prestigious accolade cemented his legacy as one of the greatest literary figures of his era. One of the most fascinating aspects of France's influence on literature is his association with Marcel Proust's masterpiece, In Search of Lost Time. It is widely believed that France served as the inspiration for the character Bergat, the literary idol of the story's narrator, Marcel. This connection adds another layer of depth to France's impact on the literary world, as his influence transcended his own works and resonated in the creations of other renowned writers. Anatole France's life and literary contributions continue to inspire and captivate readers to this day. His ability to convey irony and skepticism in his writing, combined with his profound human sympathy, earned him a place among the literary greats. His association with Marcel Proust's iconic novel further solidifies his enduring legacy. Anatole France's name will forever be synonymous with the ideals of French literature and the profound impact it can have on the world. France, Anatole, began his literary career as a poet and journalist. In 1869, one of his poems, La Part de Madeleine, was published in Le Parnasse Contemporain. He later joined the committee responsible for compiling the third Parnasse Contemporain. As a journalist, France wrote numerous articles and notices from 1867 onwards. It was his novel, Le Crime de Sylvestre Bonnard, that truly brought him recognition. The protagonist, the skeptical old scholar Sylvester Bonnard, reflected France's own persona. The novel received acclaim for its elegant prose and even won him a prize from the Académie Française. In his works, La Rotisserie de la Reine Pédoc, and Les Opinions de Jérôme Coignard, France satirized belief in the occult and captured the atmosphere of the fin de siècle. In 1896, he was elected to the Académie Française, solidifying his place in the literary world. France also played a significant role in the Dreyfus Affair. He signed Émile Zola's manifesto in support of Alfred Dreyfus, a Jewish army officer falsely convicted of espionage. France wrote about the affair in his 1901 novel, Monsieur Bertrand. Among France's later works, Penguin Island stands out for its satirical portrayal of human nature. The novel depicts penguins transforming into humans after a mistaken baptism by the near-blind Abbot Mail. It offers a satirical history of France, covering the medieval era, the Dreyfus Affair, and concluding with a dystopian future. The Gods Are a Thirst explores the French Revolution through the eyes of a zealous follower of Maximilien Robespierre. It serves as a warning against political and ideological fanaticism. France's novel, The Revolt of the Angels, is often considered his most profound and ironic work. Loosely based on the Christian understanding of the war in heaven, it tells the story of Arcade, a guardian angel who becomes an atheist and joins a revolutionary movement of fallen angels. In 1921, France was honored with the Nobel Prize for Literature. He passed away in 1924 and was laid to rest in the neuilly sur seine Old Communal Cemetery near Paris. His literary achievements were notable, and even the Catholic Church acknowledged his work by placing his entire collection on the Index Librorum Prohibitorum in 1922, a distinction he regarded with pride. This index was eventually abolished in 1966. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.